Okay, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Letitia. On this channel, I talk about all things lifestyle, travel, and fitness with a little bit of content creation sprinkled in between. And today we are going to be talking about what UGC is. It has been all over TikTok, all over Instagram, and I thought as a UGC creator myself, I would come on and explain everything that there is about UGC. So I first stumbled upon UGC a couple months ago, about six months ago, back at the end of April, and I have been a UGC creator ever since, and let me tell you, it really has changed my life, and I am just here to share the goodness of the Lord and share with you guys what UGC is. So I have been trying to do the influencer thing for a long time, and it just never really hit for me. And I stumbled across UGC on TikTok and it was just coming up all over my For You page. And finally one day I was like, let me just see what this is actually all about, what these people are talking about, what it means, what it is, and see if it's something that I can do. And lo and behold, I have been a UGC creator for the last six months. And let me tell you, it has really, really changed my life. I had so much fun creating content and I love every single minute of it. So let's start with what UGC actually means and what a UGC creator is and what it is that we do. So UGC stands for user generated content and as a user generated content creator, what I do or what other UGC creators do is we create content for brands to brand for them to use on their own pages. So unlike an influencer where an influencer is creating their content and the brands are using the creator's influence to leverage their account and push sales and push revenue and push products on the, the content creators following, I do the opposite. So I create the content and I deliver that content to the brands and the brands then use that for our social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram. Facebook, just to name a few, and they will either use that as organic usage or they will put money behind it and use it for paid ads. As a UGC creator, I'm still in the content creation space, obviously, because I'm creating content, but I'm not posting any of that content to my page unless it's an influencer brand deal. And influencer brand deals, like I said, are completely different from UGC brand deals because they are not being uploaded or shown to my audience. I think I may have found one of the best lip masks out there on the market. I've been using the Strivectin Hyaluronic Omega Moisture Lip Mask and now my lips are far from crusty. The Hyaluronic Acid plumps and moisturizes my lips while the Omegas restore the lip skin barrier. This lip mask is clinically proven to strengthen the lip barrier which results in longer lasting hydration. It's the best lip mask I've tried. Grab yours at Strivectin. I've always loved and enjoyed making content. I just could not do the influencer thing. I'm still trying, but I'm just, you know, sharing things that I genuinely and authentically like and enjoy that make my life easier. However, I could just never, I can't really like gain the following. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if my hashtag strategy is just trash or, you know what it is. I have really good content and I know that because brands reach out to me now based on some of my influencer content, but I just don't know what it is. Like I just can't do the influencer thing. So UGC content creation has really allowed me to be creative and just tap into my content creation skills. And I still get to do what I love. I get paid by brands to make content for them. I get free products. I get PR. It's it's the best of both worlds without having to worry about my influencer, my follower account. So if you want to become a UGC creator, and I know that there are plenty of you who do because it's all over TikTok, it's all over Instagram, and people are still like, what is a UGC creator? How can I become one? Well, I'm here to spill all of the tea because let me tell you, it is not hard at all to become a UGC creator. And you could honestly start today and get paid like at least 1K within the next month because one, it's holiday season and brands need content and holiday season is like the busiest time of the year but brands need content all year round so let me tell you it is not hard but let's get started and i'm going to tell you what to do so you can become a creator first things first you are going to start with research okay ugc is still a new topic and a new form of content creation in the creator space and even a lot of brands don't know what ugc is what it means how to use it or things like that so Start with doing your research. If you have been creating content for a while now, then you know exactly what influencer marketing is, you know what paid ads are, you know what organic media is, and things like that. 
But if you are not a content creator and you haven't been doing this for a while or at all even, then these are terms that you are going to need to know along with a ton of other terms. So I would start with looking up what UGC is, what a UGC content creator does, and if you were skipped to the, this part of my video, then go back to the beginning because I explained it. But you can also go to TikTok, you can go to Instagram, you can go to Facebook, you can go to YouTube, and just Google it and you will find tons of creators or people talking about what UGC or what UGC creators are and what they do. Also, you want to get a brand's perspective, so I would just look at some brand pages, some smaller brand pages, and see what kind of content um, it is that they're delivering. You can most certainly tell the difference between UGC and influencer content, so I would study the two and learn the difference. Second thing with doing your research, make sure that you research ads. A large portion of user-generated content is, or, um, is paid ad media, so what that means is that brands will use your content and they will put money behind it and use that content as paid ads. So all of the sponsored content, all of the ads that you see on TikTok, on Snapchat, on Facebook, on Instagram, most of that is UGC content. And so if you don't know how to structure an ad content-wise, visually, storytelling-wise, and that is something that you should definitely, definitely research and learn how to do and learn how to do it well. Some places that you can study ads are the TikTok Ad Creative Center, check out Social Savannah, she has a team of UGC creators and she is amazing at what she does. And just check out other smaller brands. Like I said, you can tell the difference between influencer content and UGC content. So just study the ads that you see that come up on your TikTok, that come up on your Snapchat, and break down what it is that you're seeing in those ads. Most ads will start with a hook, a problem, a solution to the problem, some KPIs, and then a call to action. That is the basic setup of an ad. So once you've done all of your research and you feel confident and you feel comfortable and you think you understand what a UGC creator is, what an ad is, how to structure ads and things like that, you're going to start creating content, okay? You do not need to go out and spend money to create content. You don't have to buy things to create content. You don't have to go and let and say, hey, I don't have anything that I, you do, you do. There are so many things around your house that you use on a daily basis. There are so many products that you use that you absolutely love. And there are so many things in your home or you know, in your skincare routine, in your morning routine, whatever routine it is that you have that you absolutely could not live without. So start with those products. And I say start with those products because those are gonna be the creatives that work well for you because you already use them, you authentically enjoy them, and it's gonna be easy for you to create content around them because you already have it and you already enjoy it, you love them. So those are gonna be the easiest ways to start creating content. Grab five, seven, nine items in your house in different niches, skincare, laundry, food and drink, apparel, clothing, fashion, jewelry, um, pet care, whatever, and just start creating content based on the research that you found from when you were studying ads. Based on that same framework, you are just going to create videos based on that. And once you are done filming your content or once you have filmed enough content that you feel comfortable um, sharing with the world because you are going to have to share your content regardless if it's good, if it's bad, if you're not sure, you're going to have to share it. You're going to start networking and networking is going to be one of the best things for you as you're getting started as a UGC creator because you're going to network with other UGC creators and work with brands and e-commerce owners. And these are the people that you want to connect with so that you can find brand deals. Twitter is a great place to network. TikTok is a great place to network. LinkedIn is a great place to network. Facebook is a great place to network. You're gonna create social accounts for these pages if you don't already have them on these social platforms. And you're just gonna start putting your work out there. You're gonna say, hey, my name is so-and-so. I'm new to the UGC creator space. Here's some of my work, here are my rates. Let me know if I can create for you and your brand and let's get chatting, let's get working. And this is how you're gonna land your brand deals. This is exactly how I did it. I started a Twitter. I hadn't had a Twitter in like 10, 15 years. And I got on there and within the first day, I had like 100 followers, 
brand owners, e-com owners, other creators, and I got my job, no lie, within like the first couple of days of me becoming a UGC creator, and it was paid from Twitter. So let me tell you, Twitter is where, where you need to be, Twitter is where it's at, Twitter's popping, okay? I don't care what anybody tells you, Twitter is the place to be. Other places, like I said, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the places, any social media platform you can network on, but Twitter is where you need to be. Before you even start um, putting your, your content out there, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to create a portfolio because brand owners are gonna ask you, what are your, what's your portfolio look like? Send me your portfolio, DM me your portfolio. We wanna see your portfolio. Everybody's gonna wanna see your portfolio. And a portfolio is almost like a media kit, but different. A media kit is static, so it has images, it has um, rates, it has your, your audience, and it has all of that. You don't need all of that for UGC because again, UGC is different from influencer marketing. So with your portfolio, you're gonna take those five, seven, nine, ten, however many videos that you made, and you're gonna make a place to house them. So you can do this on Canva, you can do this on your own website. However you feel like doing it, just make a portfolio showcasing all of the work that you've done, all of the videos that you've made, make an about me section, and then add a, a page for your rates, and there's your portfolio. That's what brands are gonna wanna see when they wanna see when they wanna work with you and when they wanna see what kind of work that you can produce. Make sure you, that you make your portfolio. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or extensive. It can just be a couple pages. Things that brands wanna see. Can you make video ads? Can you make converting ads? Can you and are you comfortable speaking on camera? And things of that nature. These are what brands are looking for. So make sure you make a portfolio and you make it good. So that is how you are going to start your UGC creator journey, your content creation journey. This doesn't have to just be for UGC. This can be for content creation overall. You can even start this way if you're looking to get into the influencer realm of marketing and of content creation. It's all pretty much the same thing. It's just a different form of marketing for each sector. UGC and influencer marketing are all under the umbrella of content creation. And there is a lot of money in content creation. I have made a lot of money doing this part-time because I have a full-time job, doing this part-time on the weekends, on the nights that I come home from work after my nine to five. And there are people who make tens of thousands of dollars doing this full-time every month. It's crazy. There's so much money in influencer marketing and in content creation, it's ridiculous. And like I said, the holidays are right around the corner and brands are looking, scrambling, begging for creators to make content. So if you are someone who is looking to become a content creator by the end of 2022 and for the year of 2023, then definitely take these tips and get to work and you will be a content creator sooner than you know and you're gonna be making your coin, sis. You're gonna be making your coin, okay? And that's what we're all here for, to do things that we love, to do the things that we enjoy, and to make money while doing it. So go out there, do what I said, do your research, create your videos, create a portfolio, start networking, and get your UGC content creation game on. Please do me a huge favor. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, if you found it informational, educational. If you just liked hanging out with me, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell so that you are informed of every time I upload a video and hit the subscribe button so that we can start building our family here on this channel. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!